So what questions should you be asking yourself uh, as, as we go through um, this, this evolution? The, the first one really hits on what we just talked about, and that is, do I have enough in-house resources to accomplish my goals? We talked earlier when we talk about inventory coming back, we talk about consumers continuing to slowly evolve and change. And, and we said, what got us here is not gonna get us to the next level. And so I think it's a good time right now when things are, are going pretty well to step back and go, do I have the right resources in place? Uh, that's people, that's technology, um, that's processes to accomplish my goals, not only today, but in the future. And I think another question, Jonathan, is uh, are my F&I options well represented in the digital space? Do you have the ability where a consumer can go in and research, do some of their um, research around F&I products, what products are being offered, different financing options? So from a web, website standpoint, do you have that positioned in there so a consumer can do all the research? Then once again, back to that 44 percent number, they're going to want to have some kind of human interaction to answer some questions, but as long as you're positioned well in the digital space, I think it gives you that connection with the uh, with the consumer. Yeah, so when we think about F&I in a modern world, and we talked about customers starting earlier in the process, customers wanting to go through the process in different ways, whether it be in-store and remote, it's important that those F&I options, may, they may have to start earlier. And the other thing to, to go into the next question is, do I have processes in place to support customers in store and remote? And do am I in a place where the customer can say, hey, I want to take delivery and I want to do it at home. And I get just as excited about that deal as I get as a customer sitting in my showroom. And and I've got the right process in place to go, hey, no problem, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, um, here's you want to take delivery at home? Here's what the process looks like. Uh, you want to do it in the store? Here's what the process looks like. Um, it's completely up to you. But for that to work, you've got to have the right process and you've got to be prepared um, and equipped to maximize performance on the front end, on the back end, on F&I products, on financing, uh, regardless of where that customer uh, is. Yeah, I think it comes back to that uh you know, training and, and processes. And, and am I working with the right provider that will support my needs in the future? Back to that poll question, there was three things. It was process training and technology, right? Do you have a partner that can position to help you refine your processes? If it's F and I or sales process, do you have the right provider that from a digital standpoint that can help support that need? And as well as training, do you have a right provider that can put them all together and be a strong partner from a training standpoint? Because they're not independent, right? You can have the best technology out there, but if you don't have a strong process that goes with it, it just not as it, it doesn't work as well. You can have the best process out there, but if you don't have training that's consistent to reinforce that, it just doesn't stay consistent. So I think really identifying that right provider that can really put all three of those together for you and really position yourself to ensure in the future that you're well positioned. 